Luna Classic is about to make a massive move, and if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to continue watching this video. Hey guys, Pinky Charts here. Welcome back to another Luna Classic analysis video. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you guys are interested in free $600 Bitcoin, make sure to check out the link in the bio. As you guys can see from yesterday's video, we were testing a very cru crucial support level here at the 16 mark. I mentioned the fact that as long as Luna Classic does hold above this level, we do have somewhat of a bullish case scenario. Any break below this level would of course expedite the fact that we would be looking for a major retest around that 14 mark. The reason why that 14 level is very important is you can see that Luna Classic only tested this level once and ideally what we're waiting for is a second and third retest to in order for us to confirm the fact that this is a very strong support level. Right now Luna Classic did break above these exponential moving averages with a very strong bullish engulfing candle and ideally right now as long as we don't of course break below this 16 mark we do still have that bullish case scenario. Now there are a few things I want to talk about in this video. Number one being the fact that we can see that in terms of exponential moving averages we are now above them as well as the fact that we are now using them as support so what does this mean for luna classic well ideally looking at it from this perspective if we do get any sort of clean break above the 17 level we could be looking for an explosive move on luna classic possibly breaking our major resistance finding it as consolidation and then the continuation you guys already know in terms of a midterm resistance level all eyes are at 22 the reason why of course is looking at at previous price analysis this level had a major support level so of course old support becomes new resistance and that is ideally what we're looking for from a bullish case scenario in order for us to have a long-term trade or even a mid-term trade a strong break above this 22. What I don't want to see, of course, is something like this where we had a wick to the upside and immediately after we continued pushing on downwards. Ideally, what we're looking for is a strong bullish engulfing candle, break this level, close above, and then a consolidation in order for us to say, yes, this is a confirmed confirmation. Now, of course, we can look at the four hour perspective right now in terms of a bounce. In yesterday's video, I mentioned the fact that we are entering oversold areas, so this could easily be a midterm support created and a continuation, but we have have to be very careful of course of the fact that we may not see that liquidity grab and then that move to the downside what i'm focusing right now of course is how this four hour time frame closes if we do get a clean break above the 17.5 that ideally would be my confirmation to start looking for some long positions but we have to be very very careful entering at these levels the reason why is of course we have seen this pattern before of course right here we saw that beautiful liquidity grab and then the continuation to the downside and ideally right now we are in that same sort of formation Looking at the hourly time frames, you can see that Luna Classic is above the exponential moving averages with some very strong continuation patterns. We already know when we are trading above these EMAs, using them as support and having a ladder case up, there's absolutely no reason to be looking at for shorting positions. Of course, the only difference is the fact that this is on the lower time frames. The lower time frames tend to be a lot more volatile and more manipulated. So just keep that in mind as you guys are trading. Right now, we are testing a very crucial resistance point on the one hour time frame so any clean break above this level of course would expedite the fact that we could be looking for that continuation but i want to be very very careful here of course that mentioning the fact that because of the fact we are entering overbought territory you want to be careful about looking for that long position ideally on the hourly time frames we are looking for something like this where we actually go and see a retest around the 16.5 and then the continuation or of course if we do get a strong bullish engulfing candle wait for the pullback to retest test as 17 as support and then the continuation as well on the daily time frames you can see we did have a pretty nice fake out on luna classic we were trading below the exponential moving averages but it is still too early to say whether or not this is going to be a continuation move the reason why of course is the fact that these ranges become extremely choppy when the exponential moving averages are consolidating and right now we don't have any clear break of this level so this would of course be a no trade zone that's pretty much all i have for you guys today as always if if you do enjoy my content make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you guys are interested in free 600 dollars bitcoin make sure to check out the link in the bio and i hope you guys have a wonderful